So we're back. I'm in. I've been through the doors. I've come up the one-way system up the stairs. I've washed my hands at the sanitizer thing. I've signed in. I've followed the signs. I've kept two meters distance from everyone. And you are welcome to do the same. We're open on Monday uh, through to uh, Friday. Uh, 9 30, sorry, 8.30 in the morning till 5.30 and then in the evening from 7.30 till 9 on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday uh, for a prayer room. We've opened up this room as a prayer room. We've got a station down here that's all around loss and mourning. We've got a station over here that's about Thanksgiving and silver linings and then we've got a station over there which is about moving forward and how we move into the next season. So you are welcome. You'll, it feels strange. We've all our chairs are set out at different distances and we've, uh, we've made sure that no one bumps into anyone and, and all of that. But you are welcome. Come, come and pray. Come and use the centre. We, we're open for room hires, hires as long as the, uh, all the social distancing stuff is in place and your group is allowed to meet. Come for a coffee. Uh, it'd be very different from normal, but you're welcome to come for a coffee as well and, uh, because we are open. We're going to open for services, uh, going to start with the evening service on the 19th of July and uh, we'll be able to do that uh, live and, on, uh, uh, and, and on, online as well. So that'll be interesting. We're starting in the evening because technically it's a bit easier. So then hopefully we've got enough practice to do it really well online and in person on the 26th of July. And uh, there'll be just a few tickets, about 30 tickets, available for the two morning services and the evening service on the 26th. So all of that is... Um, through this, uh, the, these pages on the website, Virtual Church uh, is the page for the Kingsland website and uh, go there and it will tell you much more about how to get tickets, how to turn up and some of the rules that are in place. Children are welcome as long as they can keep two metres distance and, and uh, make sure that for the services they're sat down all the time with the parents and uh, everyone's welcome but obviously if you're shielding, if you've got symptoms then please connect online and uh, be part of us that way. You're welcome to come to the building. Uh, if your house group wants to relocate here, you can do that, but you need to keep in mind all the social distancing protocols. Why not meet in a garden uh, if there's less than eight of you? Is it six or eight of you? Meet in a garden. If there's only two households, get together and watch the live stream. Let's make the most of the opportunities we have as we emerge from lockdown together. I've just been thinking about Jesus' Sermon on the Mount and, uh, you know, some of you who've been following me know that I've been thinking about this a lot because if we build our lives on this stuff, we'll stand through the storm. Uh, but Jesus says, you're the salt of the earth. And I've heard lots of things about salt, about it being scattered, about it being a preservative, about it being um, spread out. And we've been that, haven't we, uh, for some time because we're meant to, meant, meant to make the place taste good. We're meant to preserve the good stuff and we're meant to cause good things to grow. So it was a fertilizer. But also you're the light of the world and a city on a hill can't be hidden. We're meant to be together. Uh, we're meant to be separated and scattered as salt. We're meant to be together as light and we're doing both of those uh, over this next season. So please join in, please be part of it and uh, we look forward to welcoming you back to the building soon uh, but also invading your home through social media and through the web uh, and through the online services too. Bless you and uh, we're looking forward to the great things God is doing amongst us and through us and around us over these next few months.